Hi everyone. I'm going to talk about lens correction in this tutorial, which is found under the develop section of this software. And so lens correction in, is on the right hand panel here. And lens correction is going to help us a lot in removing the distortion that's found in our images. So this photo was taken from a GoPro Hero 3. And because it was a wide angle photo, we have this fisheye effect that is, um, you know, not as flat as we wanted to because it's a fisheye effect. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and flatten out this image. In order to do so, there's a couple of ways to do it. So we're going to go through those options. So under lens correction here, you have four options. You have basic, you have profile, you have color, and you have manual. <clears throat> now, in this tutorial, I'm going to only walk through profile and manual because these are the only two options you need to know in order to remove this very quickly. So let's go ahead and start with manual first. Now, if you <clears throat> don't have a GoPro camera, but you have this effect, manual is going to be an area that's going to help you quite a bit. And if you have a GoPro camera, then this is an option that you should know as well, uh, just if you want to make some finer tweaks and adjustments and also to understand how it actually really works. So let's go ahead and start with distortion first. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, when I hover my mouse over distortion, I see that there's a grid that appears on the photo. And the grid really helps guide you to understand how flat is the image versus the grid lines that are available. So here, when I go ahead and, you know, choose any of the options on the left, on the right, on distortion, I'm going to go ahead and first look at not the center part of the image, but really the horizon as I go ahead and pick out the options from distortion. So if I move the options on distortion to the right, you're going to see that the image is getting more and more flat and it's getting stretched back. And it's getting stretched back because the opposite of a fisheye effect is to pull the image out. And so you know, <clears throat> if you go all the way to the left, you're going to get the opposite effect, which is to actually uh, increase the fisheye. And so if you want to have a wide angle view effect on your photo, then this is probably the area of the scale that you want to stay on. But for us, that's definitely not the area that we want to, what, that we want to be in. So we're going to go ahead and stay on maybe the most extreme right. And even with this, we notice that there's a little bit, little bit of a curve still. Now, of course, you don't want this white space to, to uh, you know, be part of your photo. So that's where scale comes in. And what you can do is you can just kind of zoom in until all that white space is gone. And now when I keep my mouse hovered on top of this scale, I see that the grids are still available and that the horizon is now not as curved as it was before but it's still slightly curved. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and walk through these options before we go ahead and fix that issue. So first you have vertical. So vertical allows you to kind of tilt your photos on a vertical axis, like so. <clears throat> I'm gonna double click to reset it. Horizontal is a horizontal tilt, like that. I'm gonna go ahead and double click to reset that. Rotate allows you to fix any tilting issues. And sometimes the gimbal on a drone can kind of, you know, tilt or jerk a little bit. So if you have that image where it's tilted a bit, but the image is really good, then you can use a rotate tool to go ahead and fix that. I'm going to double click to bring it back to its normal default value. Scale we've gone through. And aspect ratio just allows you to stretch the image. So if I go on the right side of the scale, then it's going to stretch it vertically. On the left side, stretches it horizontally. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on it again to bring it back to its default value. This scale option by default was zero at 100, 100 points. So you could go ahead and, you know, scale it manually. Or another option is that while you're playing with the distortion option, you can just go ahead and click on constraint crop. And this way, whenever you choose this option here, it will always make sure that you don't have that white space coming in your image. So this is a pretty good option to check off the bat. And then you have the vignette option to make sure that the corners of the images either have vignette or you can remove them by just going on the opposite ends of the scale. So going on the right, will make sure that there's more light added. Going to the left, we'll actually add vignette. And these are just some more details on vignetting. So when we go into the uh, the effects side, we're going to go into more details, but if you wanted to kind of just touch up on it, this is an area. Now, the issue with the manual mode that I find 
on a GoPro image specifically is that the horizon is still curved a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reset this by just double clicking on it. I'm going to default. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and double click on the scale as well. And then I'm going to click on profile. And I'm going to click on enable profile correction. <clears throat> and what Lightroom does is that using the metadata of the photo that came with it, it knows that this is a GoPro Hero 3 Plus camera. And Adobe Lightroom folks know what type of adjustment is required to fix a GoPro wide angle or fisheye view effect uh, using this uh, option. So I'm going to go ahead and enable this. And you see automatically, I'm going to zoom out again, automatically they've applied this profile <clears throat> that really fixed this issue. Now I'm going to go back to manual, take constraint crop off, and I'm just going to go and and zoom out here and you're going to notice <clears throat> that the horizon is perfectly flat which is something that we didn't get from the manual mode so a profile mode is a very very important mode uh, at least for you know people who have GoPro cameras now they have other makers as well so if you if it doesn't automatically detect one because your metadata is off you can go ahead and select the manufacturer and then you can select the camera and it will apply an accordant setting that works for that type of photo. So we're gonna go back to GoPro, Hero 3 Plus, or any option that we want from here, we can just go ahead and click on it to make sure that we get that appropriate fix. So this is really, in a nutshell, is how you fix a, an image that is distorted uh, using Adobe Lightroom, either manually or automatically. And so you can tell the automatic option is a much, much faster option. And it's an option that I like to use very quickly. So when I'm editing my photos, I literally come down to profile. I just check this off and I'm done. And there's nothing more that I have to do on top of that. So I hope this empowers you to quickly fix your images. And we're going to go ahead and talk about effects and other things in a later tutorial.